I brought you here your Ramadan. Brooke. Abdul Alameen. Hamuda, not to enjoy the scene of the sea and my beautiful face, but a review with you some materials relating to accounts receivable. First, brief me about what the accounts receivable are. Yasawa, I know that your heart is a piece of hard stone when it comes to studying. Accounts receivable or trade receivables are amounts owed to an entity by its customers resulting from credit sales in the ordinary course of business they are due in customary trade terms. Trade receivables are often short-term, normally unsecured, and most often non-interest bearing. But installment sales receivables may be long-term, interest bearing and often secured by promissory note. All other receivables are non-trade receivables. What accounting method does recording of a receivables follow? The recording of a receivable, which often coincides with revenue recognition, is consistent with accrual method of accounting. Are accounts receivable need to be separated into current and non-current portions? Receivables should be separated into current and non-current portions. Most of the entity's accounts receivable are classified as current assets because they are expected to be collected within one year of the entity's operating cycle. How the current accounts receivable and the non-current accounts receivable are reported in the balance sheet? Current accounts receivable are reported in the balance sheet at net realizable value NRV. I mean, 1. Net of allowance for credit losses, uncollectible accounts, 2. Net of allowance for sales returns, and 3. Billing adjustments. However, non-current accounts receivable are measured at net present value of future cash flows expected to be collected. What is the principal measurement issue for accounts receivable? The principal measurement issue for accounts receivable is the estimation of allowance for credit loss and calculation of credit loss expenses for the period. Are there different methods of expensing credit losses? There are two methods of expensing credit loss. One, the direct write-off method, which expenses credit loss when they are determined to be uncollectible. Note that this method is not acceptable under the generally accepted accounting principles, because it does not match revenue and expense when the receivable and the write-off are recorded in different periods. This method is used for tax purposes. Two, the allowance method, which attempts to match credit loss expense with a related revenue. This method is required by the generally accepted accounting principles. What is the journal entry that is to be made to record credit sales and accounts receivable? To record sales on credit, the following journal entry has to be made. Debit accounts receivable or trade receivables and credit sales. Can you just mention the three forms of sales discounts that are granted to customers? Absolutely I can. These are 1. Trade discount, 2. Cash discount or prompt payment discount, and 3. Quantity discount or volume discount. That is enough for today. As a reward, you can now enjoy the sea and stare in my beautiful face.